table, I will be unlocking the bootloader of the Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. And then from there, we'll be installing or attempting to install Twerp Recovery, followed by the Xiaomi EU ROM. So, first of all, you want your phone powered on with an active SIM card installed. Now, we'll just fire this one up. And then once we've started it up from there, we'll want to go into settings and then sign in with a me account. If you don't have one of these, you do require to make one. Now we'll fast forward as I struggle with the, the Chinese developer ROM keyboard. And then once you have signed in from there, you will need to go into, oops, skip that one. We'll go into device or my device, go all specs, and then go to the MIUI UI version and tap five times. This will say developer mode is enabled. Now we'll go back and go into additional settings. And then from there, you should see developer options. Typically, I tick OEM unlocking. And then we'll also check the MIUI unlock status and go add device, add account. So you will need Wi-Fi turned off for that to use mobile data. And it should come up and say that it's paired or your account is now paired to the phone. To enable USB debugging and from there we'll now resort to the computer from there we want to go to the Xiaomi website the me unlock we want to download so as you can see on the develop on the laptop here I'll leave a link in the description on how to get to it Basically, we'll follow the steps through here for a little bit. We'll have to sign into our Xiaomi account to download it. And then we'll also need to enable fast boot mode on the Redmi 5. So right now I'm downloading the Mi Unlock tool and I will install that one. I've downloaded and extracted the Mi Unlock tool. I'm going to run that from here. You have to agree to the terms and service and enter your Xiaomi account in again once more. And now coming up, I did stuff up and didn't put the phone into fast boot mode, which you can do that by holding power and volume down when the device is off, which I'll demonstrate that in just a second. Now that error there is purely because I've got the phone powered on, but not in fast boot mode. So I will just put it into fast boot no mode now. Switch the device off. And hold power and volume down. Or volume down, then press power.
Here we go. So it will ask you to unlock. Unlocking your bootloader will erase your phone. We'll ask you a couple of times, are you sure about this? Now more than likely you've only just added your bootloader or your me account to the phone and paired it. You will not be able to unlock your bootloader until a short period of time. On this one I believe it will be 72 hours. On other phones it might be 24 or it might be as long as nearly a month. So what I've done here is I've left the phone for a weekend and now I will try and unlock the bootloader once more. Same as before, I've put the phone into fast boot mode and then connected it up to the computer. From here it's asking to erase the phone, the same steps as before. Unlock anyway and away we go. Bam, successful, unlock complete. So now the phone has got an unlocked bootloader. And then from there, with a bit of luck, I should be able to install a custom twerp recovery and then install the Xiaomi EU. So I'll restart the phone, but then as soon as I restart the phone, I'll kick it into fast boot mode by uh, volume down and power. And then from there, we require to have a program called Minimal ADB installed as well. That combined with the two links I'll provide in the description, one for the Xiaomi EU ROM and the other one for the twerp recovery. So what I'm doing now is going to my downloads and I'm going to be copying over the twerp recovery and also grabbing the Xiaomi EU multi-ROM. Right now I'm putting that into the C drive program files minimal ADB and then the twerp recovery I'll just rename that to twerp so there's no other characters after it. In my instances I've already got a copy of twerp there but I'm going to delete it and then rename the downloaded version of twerp just to twerp. And then I usually simplify the ROM as well. So I'm just going to call that, well, I don't know, 5P. That will do. So with that, these files saved here, we can run the command prompt. First of all, I'm going to type in fast boot devices just to see that it's communicating to the Xiaomi phone. Yep, so we've got fast boot there and some numbers. I want to do fast boot flash recovery. And then from there, I'm going to drop and drag the twerp file into the command prompt. Now that did fail for me right there because after I wrote recovery, I didn't put a space. So I'll just alter that now. So recovery space. There we go. Now at this point in time, I did have issues getting the recovery to actually correctly install. The phone itself from here, you should be able to power it off and then hold volume up and power. 
and that should boot it into recovery. But I did have an issue. I tried a couple of different versions of Twerp, all from the Twerp website, and none of them were any good. So they all refused to boot up. But hopefully from here it does work for you. If it doesn't, we can do the next step, which I'll show you right now. Here I've tried multiple flashes, and all of which none of them have worked. So the alternative that you can do is load the twerp file remotely from the computer. So as you can see from the bottom there, I've typed in fastboot space boot space and then I've dropped and dragged the particular twerp file I'd like to load. And from there, that did boot up on the phone without having to need to touch it. So I was able to type in fast boot, space boot, space, and then put the twerp file there with a location of it with dot image at the end. And from there the phone automatically restarted. And then you'll see what I get in the next step right here. So do note that twerp is not actually installed on the device. It's purely booting it. From here it asks to mount to decrypt data. I usually go cancel. And then go wipe and format. And I'll go yes. As you're going to type to proceed, this will format the recovery. Uh, sorry, format the ROM. Then I always go back and just do a standard wipe as well. wipe back and then from there we need to connect this up to the computer so we can go mount mount usb and then from there we resort to the desktop computer and we'll copy across our rom from there now i'll resort back to where i copied this file earlier and now I'll paste it into the in internal storage of the Redmi 5 Plus I'll just take a second And from there we can go to install, it should detect the ROM that we've put on there. And we just do a standard install, slide across, and then we play the waiting game from here. This may take up to uh, a couple of minutes to do. Now do note that I did cut this video a little bit shorter, but from here you should get the option to reboot the phone, 
and then from there you'll be stuck at the me screen for a while and then you should get the standard Android loading screen down the bottom and this part of the video will be in real time so it will take probably about a minute and a half before you get an active phone but from there you should have hopefully successfully unlocked your bootloader either installed twerf or at least loaded twerf without it being installed and then installing your custom ROM from there. Any questions leave them below but I'll try and leave a few more details in the description to help you out and also links to the various programs and files I needed to do this. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.